Alinus Svitolina said Wimbledon's blanket ban on Russian and Belarusian players like Daniil Medvedev was not what Ukrainians wanted. Ukrainian world number 25 Elena Svitolina has admitted she doesn't agree with Wimbledon's blanket ban on Russian and Belarusian players. It comes after she led her fellow Ukrainian players in sharing a statement calling on the ATP and WTA to question players from the two nations on their views on the war. Svitolina has claimed that a ban on all Russian and Belarusian players at Wimbledon is not what she and her fellow Ukrainian athletes wanted to happen. The tournament announced the decision on Wednesday in a strong statement condemning both countries' actions in invading Ukraine, prompting the 27-year-old and her fellow Ukrainian players to release a statement asking both tours to ban players who fail to denounce Putin and the war. When asked whether she would be communicating with other tournaments to impose a ban on Russian and Belarusian tennis players, Svitolina told the BBC, for now this was not the idea to do. We just wanted to say our opinion with the statement that we posted. What we think is the right decision to do. The former world number three reiterated that she and her Ukrainian colleagues did not want all players from the two nations to face a blanket ban, instead asking them to speak out against their country's actions, adding, and again, I want to say that we don't want to completely ban them but we just want them to speak up, to say their choice. If they are with the rest of the world or they are with Russian people and the Russian government so this is for me the main point. A former semi-finalist at Wimbledon, Svitolina said it was also the right thing to do to allow Russian and Belarusian tennis players to compete at the All England Club if they publicly came out to denounce their government and the war. Because if for example they didn't choose, they didn't vote for this government then it's fair that they will be allowed to play and compete, she explained. Several Russian players, including ATP World No. 2 Daniil Medvedev and WTA World No. 15 Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova, have already called for peace, while ATP World No. 8 Andrei Rublev went viral when he wrote No War Please on the camera during his run to the Dubai title in February, but the 16-time title winner explained why these messages weren't enough. She said, I think this is a very light kind of statement because how do you understand Novair? You know, no there, what it means, is, like that our Ukrainian soldiers should just give up and give away our land, is that what is no war. You can think about this in different kinds of ways so that's why in our statement it clearly says speak up about what you think about your government if they're doing the right thing. The statement, shared by Svitolina as well as the likes of WTA No. 52 Marta Kostyuk and recently retired ATP pro Sergei Stakovsky, read, We noticed that some Russian and Belarusian players at some point vaguely mentioned the war, but never clearly stating that Russia and Belarus started it on the territory of Ukraine. The very silence of those who choose to remain that way right now is unbearable as it leads to the continuation of murder in our homeland. Calling on the governing bodies in tennis to get answers from their Russian and Belarusian players, the statement continued, We demand that the WTA, ATP and ITF make sure that players who represent Russia and Belarus answer the following questions, 1. Do you support Russia's and Belarus' invasion in Ukraine's territory and as a result of that the war started by those countries? 2. Do you support Russia's and Belarus' military activities in Ukraine? Three. Do you support Putin's and Lukashenko's regime?